Hey everyone, this is Curtis Pike. I'm doing another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we're looking at the lighting effects video effect. That is a mouthful. So for those of you guys that don't know where that is, you want to go to the effects panel, wherever you have it located. Um, go to video effects, drop that box down, you will see adjust and under adjust we have lighting effects. A couple ways you can add this, you can click on the clip like I have here and then just double click the effect. Or I'll just back that up, Control Z to undo, and you can just drag it on to the clip like that. Um, and basically, there you go. You get the default lighting effect. Now, the lighting effect, it starts off with a spotlight with a uh, you know medium-sized radius. And yeah, that's where we start with. Now, you can do tons of things with this. The lighting effects is one of my favorite effects in Adobe Premiere Pro by quite a margin. So... Let's take a look here at a few of the um, variables and a few of the sliders, and then we'll maybe make an animation or something like that, too. So, starting off, you get a spotlight effect, but you can choose a couple different effects. One of the cool ones is none. Check this out. Basically, when you click on none, you turn the lights off. Uh, that is a light switch, basically. And as every woman I've ever been with has said to me, beauty is only a light switch away. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not like Shrek Solar Brother or anything like that. Um, but no, there we go. Lighting effects. So you start off with a spotlight, but you can go to none. So if you want to turn the lights off, go for it. Uh, you want directional. This is a good one. This is basically applies to the entire screen or to the entire clip. It's kind of what I meant to say. Um, you can go ahead and change the distance of the light from you know where it starts. So if you want like super bright, drag it in the middle. You want it super dark you can drag it up like that. Uh, so, of course, season that to your taste, but let's go ahead with, uh, let's go with that, that looks cool. So, there we go, lighting effects, off, on. So we got a slight light on, directional, applies to the whole, um, to the whole clip, to, to everything inside of it. Uh, Omni, well, it's kind of, kind of cool, you get like that little bit of a, a halo effect, inside's lit up and the outside's a little bit darker, a little bit feathered. Uh, I don't use Omni all that much, and then Spotlight uh, is another uh, another good one, but this one I have gone ahead and made a mess of because it's I changed the default effect, so let's just re reset it up rather than you watch me mess around to get it right. So yeah, let's go with Spotlight. So there we go, back to square one. Now a couple things you're going to notice. Uh, you can do a few things with this Spotlight. Uh, if you click on the... Uh, outer rings of the light, you can change the radius uh, manually this way. So if you want to, you know, let's go with that. That's got the vignette look, dark on the outsides, bright on the inside. You could change that. You can change this little uh, lighting source here. So if you want to narrow it down into the middle, kind of create like a, a wobbly little tiny shape or whatever you want to do, it's all available too. Uh, just undo that. Um, so you can change basically the radius. You can also change the angle of the light. So if you want the light coming in from like the right side, instead of say the top or the bottom left side, that type of thing, season it to your taste. Um, and of course you can do intensity. Intensity is actually cool. You can go right down to like pitch black, uh, or you can sort of slowly light the screen up uh, to like super bright, like oversaturated blowout bright. Um, you could do the intensity is very cool because you can also do animations uh, or you can animate the, the property over time so you can have kind of like the light starting on the right side and then it slowly uh, animates the whole scene uh, coming in directionally kind of like that so let's just go ahead back to 30 but also get a lot of really good effects in there and focus focus is a lot like feather um, if you have like like negative focus it's you know it's kind of not that bright, but you can increase it so that it focuses out. And then the more focus you have, the further out to the edges it goes. So it's sort of like a feathering effect. Uh, but uh, enough of that. That's that's the general um, properties. Another really, really interesting one is light color. I forgot to mention that now that I'm here. Basically, you don't always want to have a white, bright light. If you want to have like a horror film, for example, and you want a red light, done it's that simple and then you can go ahead and change that if you want to change the direction or change the radius whatever um, 
easy. So changing the color of the light, super cool. If you make a, like a scary film, you might want to go with like a bluish tint. A lot of films are going that way. So let's go with, I don't know, let's say like a bluish purpley tint. Done. We've got a, a cool color, light color for a, a horror film. Um, so that's another really interesting thing that you can do with the lighting effect. Also, if you want to have like a secondary ambient light, so it's got like a blue and red look, you can go ahead and change the ambient light color. Um, those are the basic things you can do with the lighting effect. Uh, your imagination is pretty much the limit on this one. So if you want to like animate some lights, let's go ahead and animate a light. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, drop the lighting effect on here. We're going to make it into a spotlight. Let's just go quickly here. Uh, we're going to make it very intense. And we're going to change the nature of the cone. I want to make it like, like a flashlighty look. Okay, so there we go. We turn the flashlight on. Okay, yeah, sure. Boost the intensity up so you can see what's going on here. Now we'll start the effect. We'll start at the beginning of the clip. Let's say somebody just walked in and turned their flashlight on. Um, this is a very crude mock-up. This isn't how you do it in like a final film. But just to show you the effect, um, there we go. Start at the beginning of the clip. And we are going to click the toggle animation switch. So this now will make sure that as we move this around over time, uh, Premiere Pro will remember what we're doing and it will animate it. So starting at the zero seconds, the light is turned on. Uh, at Let's say, let's go to one second-ish. At the one second mark, we're going to move the flashlight to the left. And we're going to put it over his face, okay? At the one second mark. At the two second mark, we're going to go back to the center, for example. And we're going to bring it back because he saw him and then he walked away. Or then he looked away, and then at the three second mark, let's say Buddy took a look over here at the images. And whatever, at the four second mark, I think you get the point here. We'll do one more. The four second mark, da -da, he goes back to his face. So watch this as we render this. It'll render a little slowly at first, but let's just go ahead and try and watch this. There goes the light. Boom! Your flashlight effect is on. And it is rolling. And then, of course, it stayed on because I didn't move it after that. But looking at it again now that it's probably a little bit uh, in RAM, let's take a look. Flashlight on. Light changing. Light moving. Easy peasy. Guys, the lighting effect in Premiere Pro is awesome. If you are a short filmmaker and you want to have add some production value, this is a fantastic effect. Can't recommend highly enough. Get good with it. Use it in your clips. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Cheers.